Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Universal Rackets and today we are going to be working on approaching the kitchen, coming up to the kitchen properly. Too many players, they have trouble coming into the kitchen. They feel like a deer in the headlights. They can't get to more balls. And we are going to go over tips and tricks to make sure that you get to the kitchen properly. If you stay tuned for this whole video, we're going to be giving you tips and tricks to make sure that you get to the kitchen properly. So the first thing is, when are you going to get to the kitchen every single time? Or when should you get to the kitchen every single time? And this, if you are a beginner player, this is going to take you to the intermediate level, hands down. Too many players, what they do is when they return the ball, they hit, they stay back here, they wait, and then again, the number one place that you want to be in in pickleball is up at the kitchen. You never want to stay back after you return the ball always return and get up to the kitchen. You have first dibs, right? You have no, no bounce roll after. So when I get to the kitchen, the number one time that I will be using this is again, I'm going to, they're going to serve to me. I'm going to return. I'm going to hit, and then I'm going to come up, right? Notice I'm going to do that one more time. I want you to watch me. Okay. Watch. They serve to me, right? I'm going to return. I'm going to hit, and then I'm going to move up to the kitchen. How fast did I go? Now I can run pretty fast. I'm not an Olympic sprinter, but I can run way faster, right? And too many players, they either don't move up to the kitchen after their return, or they do this. They hit, and then they're sprinting like they're Usain Bolt. Guys, if you sprint, it's going to be so difficult to change direction. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to have one or two players that they're going to hit, they're going to sprint as fast as they can, and then they're not going to be able to change direction and they're going to miss the ball. And they're going to be, oh, I can't get to the ball. The reason why is because you ran too fast. You need to approach. You need to float to the kitchen, okay? So when I come up again, here's the speed. Return, here we are. And then if I have to hit a ball here, I'll hit a ball here. Then I'll move up, I'll hit a ball here. And then I'll move up, I'll hit a ball here. Did you see that? We'll do that one more time, okay? So if it's a point, right? And here we are, right? So I hit. Next ball, I might hit here. Now next ball, I might hit here. Next ball, maybe I'm up here. Notice how many balls did I take to get up to the kitchen? I took around three or four, right? A great another tip to ensure that you get to the kitchen properly is think that you're on a ladder, right? There's little square spaces. One ladder here. Another ladder here, another ladder here, another ladder here, right? You're going to go up your la ladder. So return, up my ladder. Hit, up my ladder. Maybe one or two spaces here, up my ladder, and then I am good to go. So if you could think that you're climbing a ladder while you're getting up to the kitchen, that's going to help you as well. Now, another way to ensure that you get up to the kitchen, and this is an amazing tip that really changed my game personally, is you want to stop your body while your opponent is making contact with the ball. So whenever you see that your opponent hit, no matter where you are, if you're in the transition zone, if you're all the way up at the kitchen line, even if you're off the court, you're going to stop your body wherever you are. That's going to ensure that you're not moving while your opponent makes contact so you can react to the ball. So again, if my opponent makes contact and I'm here, I'm going to take this ball here. I'm not running while my opponent is making contact. So you want to make sure that you stop when your opponent is making contact. So again, I'm going to hit, stop. I'm going to hit, stop. Here we are. Stop. Okay. Every single time. Now, how can we cover more ground getting up to the kitchen? And this isn't just for your return. What can't your opponent do when the ball is in the air, especially for the return because the opponents are serving, right? So they have to let the ball bounce after a serve. But in other times as well, when the ball is super high in the air, what can't your opponent do, everyone? They can't touch it, right? So if you want to get to the kitchen extremely quickly and you do not feel comfortable with any of your shots in the transition zone, what are you going to do? Instead of drilling the ball, you're going to hit the ball slow and deep. Think, if I can return the ball slow and deep while the ball's in the air, it's still diving in, I'm able to cover more court so I can get closer up to the kitchen. Instead, a lot of players, they have trouble and they're not that good or they're not really developed so they can't hit good third shots or shots in the transition zone. And watch, they're going to drill. Boom, they're going to hit as low and as fast as they can over the net, which is low percentage, right? Then, as soon as the ball travels over there, it's going so fast that the time that they hit their next ball, they're going to be here instead of all the way up there. So the faster you hit it, the faster it goes back. So if you hit a return slow and deep, 
you're going to be able to get way further up to the kitchen rather than if you hit the ball low and fast, then the next ball that you're going to hit is going to be way closer to the baseline. So Grant, a great way to ensure that you have a safer time getting up to the kitchen, especially off the return, is what? We are going to make sure that we hit the balls high and deep. Now, deep is a big thing. You won't, don't want to hit it high and short because if I have a high and short ball here, I'm going to absolutely smash it down and annihilate it, right? So again, high and deep. Now, when you're ever moving up to the kitchen, another thing that you want to do, you want to make sure you get in your legs. If you can get in your legs, especially when you're around here, if you don't get up in one go around, which you shouldn't, right? you need to be able to get under the ball to hit up. If I'm bending down, I'm going to be hitting the ball forward. I'm going to show this to you over here, okay? If I bend down, I'm going to be hitting the ball forward. Instead, I wanna get my legs down and get under the ball. I'm literally squatting in my heels. I'm getting under so I can lift the ball over. So again, where players go wrong is they have a transition zone ball right around here and they're bending their legs down. Oh man, it went in the net, right? Instead of doing that, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my legs down. I'm going to squat down and try to get low so I can lift that ball over the air. If you can do that, that's going to help you deal with the transition zone and getting up to the kitchen as well. So if you guys can use these tips and tricks to getting up to the kitchen while you're returning in any other time, you will be much more efficient and have less balls in the transition zone. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if this video helped you, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Pickleball with Tyler. Make sure to follow my wife, The Pickle Yogi. And every Monday and Wednesday, we do free meetup trainings. We talk about third shot drops, pickleball strategies, and many different things. Make sure to Join my meetup. Links in the description. Have a good one, guys, and happy hitting. Do better returns, and I'll see you next time on court.